Good morning. It's day 66. Um, so yesterday we did less than five miles, but it was a, a setup to get us so that we were close to Forrester Pass early in the morning. Um, it snowed again last night. Uh, this morning, early start. Um, had a hot breakfast for a change. Um, and on my way, just after six, um, it started snowing again, just lightly. Um, so today's the big day. This is Forrester Pass. Goes up around 4,000 meters. Um, and yeah, we're not sure what the conditions will be like. Um, hopefully it's not windy up there. And the other concern is that there's a cornice at the top. So I have to wait and see what it's like. Um, we think yesterday there might have been someone in front of us. Um, so they may uh, make the tracks up the mountain for us, which will be good. Um, and the plan is to get down the other side um, and then set up for uh, Cursage Pass, which is off trail, but it leads down to the town. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. It's cold, um, but there might possibly be a chance there'll be a little bit of sun later, which will be nice. All right, back to it. Pretty cold, pretty miserable. <laughs> this a bit. brave soul that was in shorts is finally giving in. <laughs> oh, the morning. The sun's trying to get through, not quite making it. Go sunshine! <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Woohoo! Does anybody have water? They would. I keep saying that, but I keep not. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. You can see the uh, snow drifting off the tops there. Ah. <laughs> That's where we've come from today. We came down through those trees and along. Oh, this is beautiful. Now for some reason today, I'm actually doing quite well up the hills. I mean, I'm still taking it easy, but uh, I'm not having to stop for breaks, which is great. Um, but I'll stop at the saddle, have a, uh, a snack, um, and then, yeah, see where Forrester is. This is the first sighting of the actual pass. Looks pretty intimidating by, from here, but I think when we get closer, so you got the the rocky three, and then there's a snow chute. That snow chute is where we're heading. Woo and look at the rest of the mountains. <laughs> look at that. Woo <laughs> oh wow, good adrenaline rush. And there's one individual walking way down there for some reason. Homemade. We're getting closer. <laughs> um, so there's zigzags up that snow there and then up onto the rocks onto the proper trail zigzagging up to the uh, final point of the pass. Oh, funny thing is I'm not feeling much difference in altitude from what I have been in the past and in fact today I'm stronger up the hills than I have been this whole time. Oh, maybe it's the excitement of being here. 
Hi, here's your panorama. It's just so beautiful. Absolutely amazing. This is just wow. <laughs> and to, after the storm and the forecasted bad weather, to get a day like this to summit is amazing. That is steep. There's the rest of the group slowly making their way up. Woo -hoo -hoo. It has taken a long time to get up to here. Um, right. <laughs> so there's the views. And now we're heading up into a rocky area. <laughs> Slow and steady does it, nice and safe. So there's the uh, front of the group up there. Um, and we're actually on the trail, um, switchbacking. <laughs> this is a nice wide bit, it's been a bit narrower um, going down. You can see the zigzags that we took to get up to here. Oh, this is so neat. Absolutely loving it. Pretty cool. So I've still got a fair way to go. A few more zigzags to get up. It's quite icy up there, it looks. And we've got to get up above the uh, ice cornice as well. So uh, there's an experienced guy up in the lead. He's setting the route. That's a fairly technical bit. Going up here, quite steep. We've just come along, and then along below that cliff. Looks really impressive, it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> There's Bird, coming along. <laughs> so yeah, um, you, you definitely need to be uh, comfortable with heights. Um, but when you've got someone in front who's laying the trail, it makes it a bit easier. Alright, so I'm at the top of Forester Pass. Wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was going to be, but woo! -hoo. <laughs> so, here's the sign, um, and that's about 4,200 metres. Uh, surprisingly, I'm not feeling the altitude. I think having the last three days at height works, but just look at that. Wow, the clouds are starting to come in now. We might have just beat the weather. I think this afternoon is going to turn crappy again. But uh, woo -hoo -hoo. there's actually a lake down in that bowl. Not that you can tell. <laughs> and there's Ultra. <laughs> Another panorama because you can't have enough panoramas. <laughs> Snow is so deep and it's like talcum powder. So my feet just sink all the way in. <laughs> so it makes it quite hard work trying to do this. It's taken us a while to get down. It was a <laughs> pretty steep uh, oh, weird to get down. Woo Hopefully we'll get to a nice uh, part where we can actually slide down instead of having to walk. After many failed attempts, Zena is going to try a slide. <laughs> Success! Woohoo! All right, here comes homemade. This is our nice little rock for lunch. 
everyone was laying out their tents and sleeping bags to dry them off from the ice. <laughs> that was our lunch spot on the rock. We're now on our way. You can see where we uh, slid down the hill. Um, had a very long lunch, dried all of our kit, um, and now there's about four and a half miles to the campsite. And the campsite's at the, a low point before we then have to um, go off the PCT and climb up and over Kiersage Pass, which is actually quite a tall pass. So tomorrow is going to be a lot of climbing. Um, so yeah, easy afternoon, four and a bit miles, downhill most of the way. Still slogging through the snow though. Little pine trees <laughs> buried in the snow. Can't help it, here's another panorama because this is just so stunning. <laughs> Once again, is a little chipmunk or something like that. Looks like four little feet close together. Uh-oh, we're heading into the clouds. I think it's going to snow again tonight, possibly. Um, enjoying the sun while it lasts. I'm guessing this is the gate marked on the uh, map. <laughs> Have to be careful not to trip over it. Civilization, it's a bear box. Oh, look at us all worshipping the bear box. <laughs>